Today I wanted to teach you how to achieve large goals without getting overwhelmed or burning out. If you try diets, workout programs, starting a business, taking on full-time work or anything that involves a lot of time and effort and you've quit more times than you care to admit, then this video is for you. Imagine sticking to these goals for one year instead of quitting after two weeks. What would your life look like right now? Unfortunately, most people don't know how to maintain that momentum. They lose confidence, complain, and blame anyone and anything but themselves. The problem is that you lack an effective, sustainable system. I've done this before. I get motivated and excited to start a new adventure and I'll do endless research on how to optimize my performance, whether it be like a workout plan, I want to know the best exercises or the best diet to build muscle. The thing is, this leads to a lot of problems by taking on too much upfront. Oftentimes we try to get ahead by multitasking, caught up in shiny object syndrome, getting distracted by things that aren't going to push us forward and end up procrastinating. Then later we come up with excuses as to why we're not achieving the result we wanted. So for the next three months, I want you to pick one goal. Use this three-step action system to make it a habit so that you can achieve the goal that you set out in the first place. Number one is start a hard to fail routine. You don't wanna jump into the gym the first day without a plan. This is gonna ensure that you get overwhelmed and possibly even skip your next day or your next workout but there's also such a thing as over planning. There are gonna be days when you're not motivated to work out, so you wanna set up a system to fall back on. This is the main reason why a lot of people quit. One day, they just decide they don't feel like it and then end up not coming back to the activity. So the truth is we all lose motivation at some point. Even the people that you see on social media that seem to have it all figured out, they also have days where they don't feel like doing it. But the difference between someone who's successful and someone who quits all the time is the systems they have in place. When you have low energy on any given day, do something so simple that you could even do on your worst days. You want it to be low friction so that you're able to complete the activity. For example, let's say you set out a goal to go to the gym for five times a week. Most of the time, workouts are anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour, right? But let's say one day you're just not feeling it and you know, it's a Monday, it's the first day of your workout program. So what do you do? Set a timer for 10 minutes, you'd start your workout and just focus on getting that 10 minutes done. So whatever you can do in that time frame, just get it done for the day and you can leave. The point is not to do the entire workout and overstress about it. The point is that you got the activity in for the day so that you're still keeping that momentum of going to the gym and building that habit, a daily minimum. Something that you can achieve on any given day, no matter what is going on. No matter if the world's on fire or something crazy happens. <laughs> Another example for a meditation habit. Say you plan on sitting five to 10 minutes. Take it a step further and go simpler than that. Let's say one day you woke up late, you're behind on your morning routine, and you just wanna get to work straight away. Instead of skipping your meditation routine, you can just set a timer for two minutes. Do the best you can to not succumb to any distractions or any stray thoughts that come to mind. And once you hit that two minutes, you can get straight to work. The point is, is that you showed up. Step number two is to actually plan your day in advance. I know this sounds like cliche advice, but planning out your day to very specific standards is beneficial for your subconscious mind to register that you have a specific goal to hit for that day. Instead of saying something like, I just want to work out and get healthier on a week to week basis, you can say something like, I want to do strength training four times a week for at least 25 minutes on Monday, Wednesday and Friday and Saturday at 7.30 a.m. every day. I know this kind of contradicts the first step, but this sets your mind on a specific time so that you're giving your goals constraints. The point of constraints is to prime your mind for the activity beforehand. It's like showing up to the gym without a plan. And for the most part, you're going to waste a lot of time there because 
you don't have a specific constraint on what you need to be doing that day and having a goal to specifically work towards. Step number three is gonna be to focus on one task and one task only. When you focus on too many goals, when you're multi-passionate like myself and you wanna pursue a bunch of different things at one time, you end up giving 5% to 10 different goals. What has helped me is to stick with one goal, focus on one task, and really go hard in that activity. Every day, you have so much willpower and mental capacity that you can give to any given amount of activities. If you're spreading your time and energy thin on a bunch of different things, let's say you had 100% battery at 7 a.m. in the morning. Multitasking has been shown to take up a lot more mental energy from decision fatigue by switching to different tasks constantly. You wanna stick with one, preserve your energy, and really push forward on that one activity that you plan for the day. Focus on one goal for at least three months. It could involve multiple skills or multiple things that kind of intersect, but make sure that your overarching goal is only one thing. Step four is to just put it all together. Form a routine that you can manage and always have a minimum standard that you can work towards even on your worst days. The thing is, is that it's not gonna be perfect at first, but over time you tweak your system to fit your lifestyle and whatever type of obstacles or nuances that you need to account for that might help you achieve that goal. But to recap, the four step process is gonna be start with a sustainable routine. Set a minimum standard that you can achieve even on your worst days. Plan your day in advance. Set up your next day schedule the night before and be very specific. Focus on a single task. Go all in on your most important high return on investment task and everything else put it on maintenance. Use this approach throughout your, your day, your week or month and make any necessary adjustments as you see fit to adjust to your lifestyle. If you like this video and you want to see more like this, consider subscribing and liking the video. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what project you're going to approach next. And I will see you in the next video.